welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Monday, so you know what that means. It is meal prep day. I have three absolutely phenomenal recipes for you. A breakfast, a lunch, and chocolate chip cookies. But not just your everyday chocolate chip cookies. Delicious, clean eating, point friendly chocolate chip cookies. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for this week's My WW Meal Prep, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making a healthy breakfast hash. So it's a little bit of everything, all good whole ingredients should keep me nice and full. So let me show you what is in this week's breakfast. First, you're going to need some diced tomatoes. I picked these up off the Thrive Market. I will have that link down below for you guys. You do get $20 worth of free product when you join the Thrive Market. Love it, as you know, I use a lot of product from there. I like these because they come in the jar with the lid so that whatever you don't use, you can just put in your refrigerator. So I really, really like that. We're also going to need some organic super sweet corn. I have some organic red potatoes here. I'm going to weigh out one pound of these on my food scale. You're also going to need some eggs, butter. I'm using, of course, my Milt plant-based butter. This is my favorite butter. Salt and pepper. Bacon, I have just the uncured, dry rubbed sliced bacon from Trader Joe's. A red bell pepper and a red onion. So let's get started on breakfast. So the first thing I need to do is cook the bacon. So my recipe needs four slices. I have eight slices left. I'm just gonna cook it up. I'm sure we'll use it for something. So this is quick and easy if you don't have a lot of bacon to cook. You just put it on a paper towel, cover it with another paper towel, and throw it in your microwave. It's about a minute per slice. I'm gonna start with five minutes, and then I'll just keep going until my bacon is nice and crispy. So I went ahead and diced everything up. So I diced up half of that red bell pepper. I diced up that whole onion because it was really, really small and on my food scale I weighed out one pound of the red potatoes cut those up as well also on my food scale I have three tablespoons of my melt butter so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my butter here to my pan we're gonna let that melt down and then we're gonna add the pepper onion and potato once your butter has melted we're gonna go ahead and add in all the good stuff the pepper the onion the potatoes everything and we're going to let this cook down just until our potatoes are a little bit softened and our onion and pepper has starting to soften as well our potatoes onions and peppers are cooking away so i'm going to go ahead and add some pink himalayan salt i'm going to do a little couple little bits of that and then we're going to do a, a little bit of pepper as well get these nice and seasoned and then we're just going to let these cook down i'm guessing probably about eight to ten minutes as everything starts cooking down you're going to go ahead and add in your one cup of diced tomatoes give that a stir and allow it to continue to cook until your potatoes have softened so my potatoes are just about done probably another five minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add in one half of a cup of corn. I went ahead and drained it, measured it out, one half a cup of corn. All right, so my potatoes are cooked all the way through. They're nice and soft. So I'm going to add in four eggs and we're just gonna scramble those throughout the hash before we add in the last step, which is the crumbled up bacon. And the last step, add in my four slices of crumbled bacon. We're gonna give that another quick stir, just make sure everything is warmed through. And then we're gonna package this up for the week. It actually may not look the prettiest, but it smells absolutely amazing. And this is full of real whole food. I'm actually pretty darn excited for this week's breakfast. So the hash is done, look at that, yum. So what I'm going to do is divide it equally into four meal prep containers. So I'm just going to eyeball it into fours and we're just going to fill our meal prep containers. We're gonna add some fresh fruit and that's actually going to be my breakfast for the week. So let me get this divided out, throw in some cut up strawberries and I'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you all of the smart points. All right, so here's my breakfast. Again, not the prettiest, but it tastes really good. Nice and flavorful. The bacon just adds that salty taste to it. Really, really good. The sweetness of the corn. Really excited for this. So I divided this out into four equal servings. It is six smart points per serving on the blue plan. 
eight on the green and only three on the purple plan because you don't have to count potatoes. So that saves you quite a bit of points on the purple plan. And then I have about a half of a cup of organic sliced strawberries. So for me on the blue plan, this breakfast is only six smart points. For lunch this week, I'm making my first ever Buddha bowl, and I am making a sweet potato chickpea Buddha bowl. This is actually completely a vegan recipe. If you don't use the topping, the dressing that I'm using, if you go with the tahini dressing that's in the original recipe, I will include the tahini recipe on my website, I will also include the points with or without that and with the dressing I'm making. I am not the biggest fan of tahini, so I'm gonna make kind of a mock ranch dressing for the top of my bowl. I'll show that to you guys as well. But first, let me show you what's in the Buddha bowl and then I'll show you what I'm doing for my dressing. First, you're going to need some garbanzo beans. I have two pouches of the organic garbanzo beans from Thrive. Love that these come in a pouch. They're so much easier to store. They are only 10 ounces and the recipe calls for 15. So I'm gonna use one and a half of these pouches of the garbanzo beans. Again, the link for Thrive and the $20 free product is down below. Also, you'll need some oil of your choice. I have avocado oil. Four seasonings, I have garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, oregano, and then of course, just some salt and pepper. I have two sweet potatoes, a red onion, baby broccoli or broccolini, and lastly, some kale. And then for my dressing, I'm making it super simple. I'm gonna be using the grass-fed Maple Hill Organic Whole Milk Yogurt. I'm going to mix in a package of the Primal Palette Garden Ranch. This, again, is purchased off of Thrive. This is zero smart points, or I don't count it as points, so the only thing is going to be the yogurt. I may also add a dash of lemon juice. I'll let you guys know when we make the dressing if I do that. And that should be a lot lower in points, and just in my opinion, since I'm not a big tahini fan, that should be really good on this Buddha bowl. So let's make my first ever Buddha bowl. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and chop my red onion into large wedges. We're also going to cube our sweet potato. I'm gonna go ahead and cook it with the skin on um, and we're gonna actually roast these in the oven. So let's get these chopped up so we can get them into the oven. veggies are chopped so here they are I'm going to just put them out here on a baking sheet I went ahead and decided to kind of break up the red onion because I do want it to cook and kind of flavor the sweet potatoes as well to get nice and crispy too we do this a lot when we roast vegetables for dinner is we make sure we break up that red onion so that it's a little bit thinner pieces oh it's so good I love it my husband does not love onions as much as I do, so whenever I can throw them into a meal prep that he does not eat, I definitely like to do that. So, broke up those little bits of onion. We'll get that spread out here on our sheet pan. And then we are going to take our avocado oil here, and I'm only going to do a very small amount, probably about a half of a tablespoon over this entire, maybe a tablespoon over this entire batch. And then we're just simply going to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. And this is going to go into our oven at 400 degrees until the potatoes are roasted. And then while these are roasting, we'll go ahead and wash and rinse our garbanzo beans and just kind of continue on with our Buddha bowl and give these a chance to kind of get nice and roasted. It's probably going to take about 25 minutes. All right, so I drained and rinsed one and a half of those pouches. These are some of the biggest chickpeas I've ever seen. I love Thrive. They have such great product. I'm going to go ahead and spread these out pretty evenly here on a paper towel. We want to get these as dry as we can because we're going to toss these in a skillet so that they get nice and crispy. So we have kind of a crispy chickpea on our bootable. So I'm going to get these nice and dried, as dried as I can. And then I'm going to get these into a bowl. We'll season them up and get them into a pan. All right, so I've got some nice dried chickpeas here. We're going to add some seasoning. So first we want approximately a half of a teaspoon of oregano. Now this is 
optional as well as turmeric. I don't have any turmeric or I'd add that. So I did decide to take the option of adding in the oregano. I'm also going to do about three quarters of a teaspoon of chili pepper. Now I don't, or chili powder, I'm sorry. I don't like my food very spicy, so I'm not going to go too crazy with that. Also for cumin, I'm going to do about a teaspoon. That's what's really going to give it some yummy flavor. And then I also have some garlic powder and I want about three quarters of a teaspoon of that as well. And then last but not least, I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle in some salt and some pink Himalayan or some pink Himalayan salt and some pepper. We're gonna give that a good mix, get those nice and coated in all those seasonings. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this to a skillet and get these nice and crispy. Oh my gosh, these smell amazing. Look at that, yummy. So I have a small skillet here warming up on the stove. I am going to just spray it with a little bit of avocado spray. And then to this, we're going to add those yummy seasoned chickpeas. And we're just gonna stir these and get these nice and crispy. When these get nice and hot, we're gonna add in some avocado oil. Chickpeas are coming along. I went ahead and pulled out these sweet potato and onions we are going to go ahead and top it with the baby broccoli so i'm just going to take it and kind of stick it on top here and we're going to allow this to kind of roast up with the sweet potatoes and the onion i am going to drizzle about a half of a teaspoon of the avocado oil kind of over the top of the broccoli and we're going to throw this back in probably for about another eight to ten minutes and then the last thing we have to add to the pan here is going to be our kale once your chickpeas are nice and hot we're going to go ahead and add in about a teaspoon of the avocado oil or whatever oil you're using give that a good shake get them nice and coated that's what's actually going to make them really crispy yum look at these chickpeas okay so once they're nice and crispy i'm just going to remove them from the heat i have everything here in the oven still kind of cooking away i'll be pulling that back out in just a few minutes to add some kale all right we've got 10 more minutes here on our potatoes and broccoli now i'm going to grab just a couple of big handfuls of this tuscan kale and i'm just going to top it with the kale so just put it right on top so the kale gets nice and crispy and it also keeps all of that steam down in the potatoes so that they continue to cook through so the last thing that we're going to do before this goes back in the oven is drizzle again about just another teaspoon of avocado oil over the top of the kale let's put this back in the oven to get it nice and crispy so for my dressing i'm doing one half of a cup of this maple hill yogurt so i went ahead and just measured that out on my food scale it is pretty runny it's not a greek yogurt so it actually makes a great base for dressings or dips to that i'm going to add my entire packet of this primal palette ranch this looks so good okay so we're gonna add that we're gonna give this a stir again it's going to be a little bit thin like dressing which is absolutely perfect and this is only going to add one smart point to our Buddha bowl now if we were to make the tahini dressing in the actual recipe I think it adds three points so this is a much better option lastly I'm just going to add this is some organic lemon juice I'm just going to add just a squeeze of the lemon juice and give that a stir. And there you go, we've got some ranch dressing for our Buddha bowls. I'll show you guys how I'm going to store this and have it ready to just kind of top our bowls with. So this will be perfect. All right, I just pulled the sheet pan out of the oven. Look at how good this looks, you guys, yum. So this only makes three Buddha bowls. Can you even believe that? And wait till you guys hear the point. So we're gonna put together a Buddha bowl. Let me show you too. This is how I'm storing my ranch that I made. So it's in one of these little, looks like a ketchup container you'd find at a restaurant. And that way I can just squeeze it and drizzle it right over the top. This makes four servings, so there'll be one extra serving. I'll just use that on a salad. Um, but that way I have that available each day for the Buddha bowl. So to put it together, it's extremely easy. We're going to take one fourth of our sheet pan here. So I'm gonna kind of dig down, start with getting the potatoes and kind of some roasted kale and onions here at the bottom of our bowl. And again, we only have three bowls total. So 
we are going to have a really good sized bootable here for the point. So I think that's about a third of the potatoes here. Let's do a couple more. There we go. And then I'm just going to just kind of on top add a few pieces of the broccoli mine is just a little bit bigger pieces which is completely fine i love this broccolini it is so good you guys from trader joe's this organic one uh it's so good so i'm just going to kind of lay those off to the side and then i'm going to add about one third of my roasted chickpeas and you guys i tried these holy moly are these to die for so again it only makes three bowls so we want about a third total of our chickpeas oh my gosh i can't wait for this it's gonna be so delicious and then i'm a couple pieces of kale here all right so there is the completed bootable and then when i go to eat it i'm gonna add one fourth of the dressing doesn't that look so good so let me get the other one put together i'll show you guys too i'm gonna have one for lunch today actually i think it just sounds so good and then i'll give you guys all the smart points so here's lunch it made three bootables total i have two here for meal prep i'm gonna have one for lunch today because i can't wait to eat this but this is the bootable does not look amazing and then i went ahead and just chopped up some fresh papaya this is going to be my other fruit for the week i'll have a little bit of that on the side of my Buddha bowl. So let's go over the points of the bowl. I'm going to give you the points with the tahini sauce in the recipe and the points with my yogurt ranch sauce. Again, this is a vegan recipe. If you are on the blue plan or purple plan, you could always add some chicken to this if you wanted, but I'm just going to source my protein from the chickpeas. This is huge. I have a feeling this is going to be plenty. So the bowl itself without any sauce at all is five smart points on both the blue and purple plan and eight smart points on the green plan. Now, if you decide to add my ranch that I made, you would add one additional point. So it would be six points on the blue or purple and nine points on the green. Now, if you opt to make the tahini sauce that's part of the recipe, it's going to add three points. So it is going to be eight points on both blue and purple and 11 on the green plan. So whatever your preference is, but for me, this is going to be six smart points. For a sweet treat this week, I'm going to be making clean eating chocolate chip cookies. I can't wait for these, you guys. They are low point. They're full of really good ingredients. I seriously am so excited. I've been craving cookies. I know, but these are clean cookies, so I can limit myself to one and feel really good about that. So let me show you what is in our cookies. First, you'll need some flour. This is just the organic all-purpose flour from Thrive Market arrowroot powder or cornstarch, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna be doing a mix of coconut sugar and monk fruit sweetener just to kind of cut down on the points. I love coconut sugar though, and it's really, really good for you, but I'm gonna cut the points a bit with the monk fruit. You'll need some butter. I'll be doing my famous melt plant-based butter, vanilla extract, baking powder, salt, an egg, and then I'm gonna be using some Lily's chocolate chips. So let's make some cookies. So to start our chocolate chip cookies, I have my bowl here. To that, I'm going to add two cups of the organic all-purpose flour. You can also use wheat flour or even oat flour, whatever you have on hand. You could even do keto almond flour or coconut flour, whatever flour base you want to use. To that, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and also one and a half teaspoons of arrowroot powder, which is in place of cornstarch and just a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. So let's get this stirred together and then we will in a separate bowl combine some of our wet ingredients before adding those here to the flour. So in a separate bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and put my two eggs. I always crack them separately because you know me and my getting shells in my eggs. And then I have three tablespoons measured out on my food scale of my melt plant-based butter. You wanna get that melted down almost all of the way. It will continue to melt as we stir it together. It's still pretty warm. I'm also going to add in about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Again, give that another quick stir. And then we're going to add in half of a cup of monk fruit, and you can see the other half of a cup of coconut sugar. And we're gonna add that, get that nice and combined, and then we'll be ready to add the wet ingredients over into our dry ingredients. Now we're ready to combine our wet ingredients here into our dry ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and add 
all of that goodness in here to the flour mixture and we're going to give it a good stir before we go ahead and add in our chocolate chips we always want to add those last because we want to gently fold those in that way they don't get smashed from the mixing process so make sure everything gets nice and mixed together and then we'll add in those chocolate chips lastly we're going to add in our chocolate chips i measured out six servings or basically six tablespoons of Lily's chocolate chips, 360 chips. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those mixed in here with the dough. Then we're gonna throw this into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. We wanna let it get nice and chilled. That way our cookies will hold up a little bit better in the baking process. And then we'll all be back to scoop these onto our baking sheet and make some chocolate chip cookies. So we want 24 scoops. So I have the smallest cookie scoop that came in my set. Again, these are linked in my Amazon store below. You actually get four, I think, different size scoops. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that out. We want, again, 24 cookies total. And then we'll get ready to put these into the oven. So now I'm gonna take a spoon, I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of the avocado spray and I'm just going to flatten out my cookies a little bit. I do want them to get nice and flat when they bake and not be just like kind of a ball cookie. So that's the best way to do it. That way it doesn't stick to your actual cookie. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten those out and then they are ready to go in to the oven, 350 degrees until they're cooked through. So the first batch of cookies are out. Oh my gosh, these smell amazing. It is like bakery heaven here in my house. So I'm gonna let these cool here on the tray for about 10 minutes, transfer them to a wire baking rack, and then I'll get the second batch of cookies ready to go. All right, our cookies are done. Oh my goodness, these look delicious. I just had one. Delicious, you guys, so good great size cookie it makes 24 cookies total and each cookie is only three smart points that's it and we used coconut sugar and, and mix that with the monk fruit so it's definitely a really good clean whole cookie clean and absolutely delicious so three smart points per chocolate chip cookie So here's some snacks for the week. I bought these little individual packs of the Siete grain-free tortilla chips in lime. These are individual packs. I really, really like that they made them individual. They are five points per bag, and I'm just going to pair that with some of the Siete queso dip. This stuff is so good, you guys, and you can have two tablespoons for one smart point. So that'll be a six smart point snack, so it's a little point heavy, but I've been really wanting chips and queso chips and salsa so that's partially why i picked these up and i only do have generally one snack a day so i can afford the extra points so again siete queso and chips and then also built bars i always like to have these on hand as well this coconut almond is the bomb it tastes like an almond joy i love it three smart points i also love the mint brownie that's one of my other very favorites and the peanut butter now the peanut butter one is four points all of the nut-based bars, with the exception of the coconut almond, are four points. All of the other built bars are three. So you're looking at three to four points. What's great about these is they are packed with protein, fiber, and fat, so they keep you nice and full. They literally taste like a candy bar. I'm obsessed. You guys know that. I love my built bars. Always have. I do have 10% off for built bar. I'll put my code here on the screen for you. If you're new to built bar and you've never ordered or you've never used an email for an order, you can actually get $10 off your first order. I'll put that link down in the description box. If you click that special link, it'll give you $10 off your very first order. So that's a steal. You can get a whole box of built bars for less than a dollar a bar, which is amazing. So I have those for three to four points. My my Siete chips for five and my Siete queso for one. So those are my snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited as I am for these three recipes. Every single one of them is so good. I can't wait to indulge in these all week long. And even my husband who one, doesn't like chocolate and two, doesn't really eat cookies, thought those cookies were pretty darn good. So I'm excited for you guys to give all three recipes a try. The actual 
recipe is on my website and the link to my website is down in the description box below. It's at the very top so you can't miss it. I will link everything else that I shared with you on today's meal prep as well as all of the links and discount codes to some of my favorite things. So make sure you check out the description box. Lastly, you'll find the link to come on over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. We stay in touch constantly on there so it's a great resource for you during this time to have a friendly face, a place for support, ideas, and questions. So head on over and join us there. If you're new, I'd like to extend a huge welcome and I'd love for you to join my YouTube friends and family. All you have to do is hit that little subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. That way you're not missing a video and it really helps my channel if you subscribe. Also it helps if you give this video a thumbs up if you're loving some meal prep. Leave those comments down below. Let me know which of these recipes are you most excited about and also let me know how you guys are doing and if there's anything I can do to help you through this rough time. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.